Hello, hello everyone and welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking. Thank you so much for joining me here. These are the readings for September of 2022. They are general readings and I will be, uh, as I usually do at the beginning of the month, I will be expanding this reading. Um, so we'll be looking in the expanded version of this reading. It will be more focused on romance and love. So we'll see what shows up in the general reading. Now, the pre-Raphaelit tarot is what I'm using for the nine card spread. I'll be taking a Kama Dharma message, as I always do. I will be using the good tarot. Uh, I'll be taking three cards from here uh, pertaining to love, so we'll be looking at that, and then we'll be expanding on love in the extended. I will be also using the energy oracle for advice as well as the Moonology Oracle, uh, which is more, it's more about your subconscious uh, fears, intuition, anything that's going on for you emotionally, which can relate to matters pertaining to home or where you are emotionally. Are you happy? Are you feeling serene? What's going on in your emotional life? So... The immunology uh, will also give us more understanding about matters pertaining to love as well as home and anything to do with the uh, yin energy, the nurturing uh, psychic energy that we all hold. Now in the extended, uh, as I said, I will be expanding on love. So I will be using Amira's Love Oracle. I will be taking the angel answers so you'll be able to uh, tune in and ask your questions. Hopefully we can, uh, Spirit will guide us to um, to answer your questions. And for advice, I will be using the Universal Love Oracle uh, as well in the general reading. Now I will also be uh, using the La Vera Sibila um, in the expanded love section to see what what is more going on pertaining to love. As I said, I'll be taking three tarot from the good tarot and then uh, we can expand with the Sibylas, get more information with the Mirror's Love Oracle, the Angel Answers as well. And lastly, in the expanded, I will be taking my handwritten love messages. Okay, so speaking of the expanded uh, reading, for each sign, uh, if you're on Patreon, you get the 12 expanded, extended readings, um, which is great because purchasing one extended, expanded reading um, is the same price as being a, a member on Patreon. So you may want to join us on Patreon. We do a lot of astrology and mythology and you get all the expanded, extended readings as well as uh, many perks like three free readings every month. So yes, we'll be doing it a little bit differently this month with the extended. As I said, we'll be expanding on love. So either you can join us on Patreon or you can purchase a one-off uh, through my website as I have the extended readings there as well. You can get all the links beneath the video. For those of you that are interested in a personal reading, they are available. You can get the link beneath the video. My website is there so you can check out the link, check out the readings that are on offer. We, we do astrology readings, we do birth analysis, we do tarot readings, we do a mixture of tarot and astrology which are called the deluxe readings so if you want any advice as well as to which reading would best suit your situation you can always email us at divinedebu11 at gmail.com all the links are beneath this video um, and I'm beginning with the sign of Virgo as it is Virgo season happy birthday dear Virgo 
Of course, we've got the uh, equinox um, towards the later part of the month. We're moving into Libra season. Uh, a change of seasons uh, is a big change, generally speaking. So it's important times. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, subscribing and commenting to uh, these readings. They are free readings, remember. So those of you that, if this is your story, you can get the extended, expanded uh, version for the month of September of 2022. So let's go on to the readings, everyone. Thank you so much for your love, your support. Let's begin. Hello, hello, dear Aries, and welcome to Divine Debut. This is Kathy speaking. Thank you for joining me here. This is your September general reading. I will be extending these readings. Um, I have gone into all the information. We'll be looking at the extended and love relationships. All the information is in the introduction. I hope that you've watched that. So this is a general reading. As I said, uh, love will be more focused on in the extended. We'll see what shows up in your reading. Anyway, dear Aries, so month of September for you. Your ruling planet has entered Gemini and will be there. Will be there for a few months. So um, that will give you a lot of power. It will be very empowering for you. Um, yeah. So Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and the North Node. Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles could speak to a possible collaboration at work, a group effort. Whatever it is, you're expanding, you're noticed uh, for your talents. Eight of Cups, Five of Swords, Six of Pentacles. The Tower, Two of Pentacles, the High Priestess, the Devil, and the Justice card. It's so good to see the Justice card at the end of your reading. Like, it's so good. Wow. Three Major Arcana just at the bottom here, plus the Tower. What a month it's going to be. Libra is your, it's your house of partnership and relationship and other people. And we begin with the Eight of Cups here. So this is the past, present, future, past, present, future. So obviously there's something that you've left that did not fill your cups. But it's been really challenging. You've gone through a lot of changes. Five of Swords is, I feel it's you fighting, using your wit, using your mind to overcome any challenges that you've had. They could be uh, pertaining to legalities, possibly. Or it's just, I don't know why, but I get, um, it's your self-confidence that's been, um, that you've been working uh, with, knowing that you are, you've got the ability, you are able to, you are, uh, you know, anything is possible for you. Let's see what's at the bottom here. We've got the Six of Swords, which is great to see. After the Five of Swords, there's the Seven of Wands. There are, that's you fighting. Queen of Wands, you are very powerful. Yes, you are the Queen of Wands, obviously. Uh, so there's been sort of the miser feeling of a lack. Is it financial? Is it business? You are fighting. I mean, you're, you've got the upper hand here and you're transitioning from conflict and competitive energies and challenges. I feel that, I feel I need to tell you that you chose this. Whatever you are battling through, there will be some sort of justice, right? We see that here as well. Uh, this could be legalities. This could be a possible separation or divorce. You've had some sort of an awakening. You're still going through that awakening. That you've got the 
uh, abilities. Now, some of you could be working extra hard. I don't know if you're going through separation and divorce. The Two of Pentacles is like things being up in the air. Right? It's like you're working double jobs, but the money isn't enough. But the promise is balance here. And you've had, an, uh, let's say, a showing of that recently. Now, you've had some sort of an awakening, a major shift here. And you've gone emotionally, um, psychically, you've opened up as well. I feel that your third eye has been activated. Trust your intuition, right? And um, whatever you're facing um, that's in front of you, because this is the uh, now and this is the, the possible future. We are talking about the month of September, right? And this is a very important position that the High Priestess is in. And she's all about secrecy. She's all about the knowing. She's got the knowledge. Some of you are studying something. You're working and studying. And I feel that there is a difficult teacher around you, whoever this is. Whoever the devil is, it's a situation that you feel stuck in. I mean, the devil is Capricorn and Capricorn squares you, dear Aries. Capricorn can be someone that's in, older than you, someone that's wiser. Um, someone that could also be quite into, you know, narcissistic tendencies as well. You've got the power. It's like, what I get here is, it's like you're making some sort of a spell, uh, white magic, right? Where you are sort of, and you could see the devil is sort of saying, you know, that I, I always, as I always say, the light is way stronger than the darkness. We know that the devil is dark darkness it is fear and i don't know if this has got to do with your psychological issues pertaining to self-worth or your the you know valuing yourself loving yourself knowing that you are worthy it's it's like the power of your intuition can break through anything anything that is any blockages, any forks in the road that are ahead, that are ahead of you, I think that this you've got this in your pocket. It's it's a win-win outcome. That's what I'm getting for you. Wow, Aries. Let's see what's going on. Let's take more information. There's so many messages, so many messages coming through. Uh, this could also speak to hard work being done on something that you've started. Hard work, strong, uh, you know, heavy com competitive energies. There's a promise of a payback, but you go from the six to the three to the two. It's it's like someone's been trying to pull the wool over your eyes. They've promised you, um, they've promised you success. They've promised you um, recognition, abundance. But they're blocking you. It's like, I don't know if this has got to do with timing. So um, justice is very promising here as an outgoing message. Let's let's take your karma dharma. And you've got temperance, which temperance speaks to tempering yourself, being patient. And that's not your forte, dear Aries. But temperance does promise healing, balance. Um, it's all happening in divine timing. Uh, temperance is Jupiter. Jupiter speaks to abundance and Jupiter is transiting your sign, but he's retrograding now. So he needs to revisit, revisit the area of Pisces, which he rules and he will return to you. So he's holding back on his rewards and his gifts. They will come in due time. Okay. Do not stress about that. Let's see what the energy oracle has. Here is your card, 
and you've got the magician and the mirror. Now another sign got this. It was either Libra or Scorpio, I think. But they got it in the reverse. Magician and the mirror. No, I think they got it in the reverse. Uh, if you are dealing either with a Scorpio or a Libra, you've got Libra here. Um, check their reading out, okay? Let's, let's take a look at love because I don't see a lot going on pertaining to love. Of course, the High Priestess can also speak to a spiritual connection. Remember, she is... Um, She's, she holds the energy of Pisces and Virgo, which it is the Virgo season. We're having a full moon in Pisces this month, which would be a full moon. Something is ending that you don't know about. Pisces is behind you. Pisces can also speak to a major karmic cycle that is ending that you don't know about which opens the road to uh, new new beginnings and it's as though you're closing up a karmic cycle something that's been holding you back it's only a matter of time let's see what goes on what's going on in love as we will be extending uh, the reading we'll be looking a lot more into love for the month of September let's just take three cards here and see we've got the full card which is your card We've got the Magician, you've got the Magician and the Mirror here, and you've got the King of Swords, you know, I've had at least four or five signs that end with the King of Swords. So what is this, what is going on with this King of Swords, which to me speaks to the Aquarian energy? What's at the bottom of the deck? And we've got the Chariot, so beautiful. Cancer also squares you, but... The chariot does speak to overcoming any obstacles. You're moving towards victory. Now you've got an ace here. You've got the zero, the full, and the magician, and then the king of swords. King of swords is like stealing away with intelligence. He's got such a, um, such an ability to look towards, to look into the future. A king of swords can be Aquarius, can be Gemini, can be Libra. We've also got... Virgo and Gemini here and Cancer King of Swords very fair very just I don't know the King of Swords could possibly also if you're dealing with a trickster in matters pertaining to love and you've taken a risk on love King of Swords could also be someone that detaches right We've got, we end up with uh, Justice here and we've got the King of Swords who could also be someone who does work um, in a legal firm, someone that's very intelligent, uses their mind, their intellect. King of Swords could also speak to clarity. I mean, uh, the magician speaks to communication, obviously. Anyway, we'll look more into this. Let's see where you are emotionally. I'm going to take some more tarot in a moment. More tarot. And I will read The Magician and the Mirror. Where, let's see where Aries is emotionally in the month of September. We are having Mercury retrograde, dear Aries. And The Magician is Mercury. So this could you could be revisiting the past, retweaking, revisiting um, people from the past could be coming back into your life. I don't know if this is someone that mm, you had a breakup with in the past. Someone maybe that I don't know chose someone else. I mean the chariot does speak to choices. It's like deciding and moving forward with it. Now, the chariot could also possibly speak to a, a movement, new home. Um, Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. A potential for a brand new beginning. I'm just trying to figure out what this King of Swords is about. It could just be that 
you're dealing with someone that's quite intelligent, someone that will always tell you the truth. And the Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles is beneath the Ace of Cups. Five of Pentacles. Two people that maybe believe different things. Five of Pentacles is a sense of lack in the past, but there is an offer here, a new beginning, with the Ace of Cups, and we've got the little seahorse, which brings a lot of luck with it. That is beautiful. Step out of your comfort zone, North Node. The North Node, the Aries, is in Taurus. Taurus is Venus ruled. And Uranus is there. So unexpected. Very, very unexpected turn of events. Faded events playing out. You are getting uncomfortable, but you're following your North Node, which is your faded path. I want to take one more for you. This is either you getting uncomfortable or the person that you're dealing with, the people you're dealing with. Bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. New moon in Aquarius will be, this will be happening, of course, in um, end of January, early February. Unless this is just a new beginning with an Aquarius. But remember Aquarius. We've got Aquarius and Taurus here. Which is quite challenging. It's like two very different uh, elements. Stable. Stable earth. Uh, stable. Uh, I should say fixed earth and fixed air. So where there was uh, fixated energies. There's a new beginning. Someone is bringing love into the situation. So if you were dealing with someone that did not show their emotions, they're going to be truth, truthful about them. This will jumpstart something for you pertaining to emotional happiness. Remember, this is the Moonology Oracle. Let's read Magician and the Mirror, number 53, which equals an 8. 8 is the Strength card. It is also... Um, it's a very powerful card, the strength card, isn't it? It does speak to desire, sexual desire, trust issues, confidence, um, patience, needing to hold yourself back. This card upright represents the combination of your personal and spiritual power at this time. In the magician's left hand is the flame of passion and action. In his right hand is a vortex of water and the light of reflection. This highly beneficial card is telling you that you are the magician and within your grasp are the amazing forces of earth and spirit. The water is the energy of yin and the power of spirit and clarity of thought. The flame is the energy of yang, bringing direction and creativity. Together they give you the magnificent magic of transformation. The mirror stands beside the magician, reflecting the outer world's response to your choice to use or dismiss the true power that you have. Its silver reflection reveals the future in a mist on the horizon, ready to be magically formed. When you receive the magician upright, you are put on notice that an important and powerful time is at hand. You are the alchemist of your life. And just as an alchemist turns base metals into gold, you are now able to transform your difficulties into great blessings. This is a time in every area of your life. What did I just say? This is true. Maybe it's this is the time I wanted to say. This is true in every area of your life. This is amazing because this is happening in every area of your life. You've got the blessings of Archangel Michael here, dear Aries. Congratulations. Claim your power and embrace your intentions in your heart and in your daily life. Direct your destiny and the mists of the future will clear into brilliant reality. What a gorgeous message. You are the alchemist. Remember what I was talking about before with the high priestess. And the white light, 
that she emanates, that she brings the wisdom. So it looks like the uh, time of September is going to be a very important month for you. Let's take a few more cards before we uh, we go to the extended. Remember I said you are the Queen of Wands. You can create whatever it is that you desire. Queen of Wands is, is your energy now. It could be another fire sign as well. Um, we'll see. We'll take more cards. Could be Sagittarius. We've got Temperance here. What is that Eight of Cups? Where are you heading to? Eight of Pentacles. New job. Eight of Pentacles is the Virgo energy. It's all about the details. Putting in the effort. Let's take that Five of Swords. Wow. Yeah. Three of Swords. Disappointment. Needing to leave something behind, having been disappointed in the past, or heavy comp competition, which was a bit of a disappointment, or wherever you emotionally headed towards in the past, in the recent past. What is this tower moment? What is this tower about? We've got the Queen of Swords and there's the King of Swords here as well. Queen of Swords is Libra, isn't it? It's Libra. Libra is all about balance. Where there's been no balance, you're clearing out. You're clearing people and situations out of your life that have hurt you, that have misjudged you or undervalued you. A very dynamic, powerful reading. What's the focal point on the Three of Pentacles? What's that about? So I see a lot of pentacles and a lot of, it's more about um, the way you communicate, who you communicate with, who, are, who you're vocal or not vocal with, and, and money and practical matters here. Some of you may have had blocked energy as well, blocked creative energy as well. Um, or some of you, um, some of you, uh, what's, what did I want to say, doubted, doubted your efforts being rewarded, your efforts, that you are the magician. Let's look at that six of, six of pentacles. See, there's a lot of worry about payment, money owed to you, um, you, maybe you felt very unlucky that you know uh, everything was against you. You had a you had a chapter where, and you haven't had it easy, dear Aries, at all. Past few years, at all. Um, I feel that a lot of you may have strong air in your chart. Your worry warts you, uh, or either that, or you've got Virgo, strong Virgo in your chart. I mean, the magician is Virgo and Gemini, I don't think it's about choices for you. I think it's more about your ability to serve, your service to the world or whoever you're serving, whatever you're working on. You've been doubting your uh, you being valued by others. And it's as though you've put people to the test. They need to prove themselves to you. It's like you're giving them a chance before you cut them out of your life. Let's look at that Two of Pentacles. We've got the Four of Cups. Being unhappy in something. I'm not going to take the High Priestess. I'm going to take the Devil because the Devil is restrictive. Uh, fears. Uh, crippling fear. On how to move forward you, you're supposed to use your third eye you're supposed to use your intuition through your through your spiritual uh, capabilities 
your higher self's capabilities. You can wipe that darkness away from you. And what I mean by that is like, it's, it's as though you're feeling blocked and you cannot see past this darkness of fear. And I mean, we know that the devil, um, we know that the devil does speak to blockages and uh, also narcissism and challenges and it's like you're pressing on the accelerator not getting anywhere but justice will come through let's look at the devil and yeah two of swords it's like you're fearing the worst there is something that's blocking your way here and it could be a decision as well now a decision around someone that's quite narcissistic in your life someone that's given you a lot of challenges or hassles or maybe also you're feeling as though you've had a, a difficult chapter in your life where you've been dealing with a lot of karma now we've got a lot of swords so a lot to do with your perception your thoughts and maybe possibly injustices i'm going to say Let's look at that Six of Swords. The fact that it says bring love into the situation says that there hasn't been love or someone has been very cold towards you. But it looks like they may be stepping out of their comfort zone, whoever this is. You could be dealing with an air sign, someone that just thinks too much, where love is concerned. Um, doubting themselves that you will accept their offer. Now, where, where relationships are concerned, I feel that, I don't know, I get, I get you very much like the Empress, like everyone is, is, you are very attractive, but there's doubt there. There's doubt there. And someone's been eyeing you for quite some time. Someone has been trying to find the courage to come forth, to be truthful. I, I get that they've been more about serving you, more about doing things for you instead of being romantic and open emotionally. So you could be, it could be, it may not be you that's stepping out of your comfort zone. Right? That's what I'm trying to get at. What's that Six of Swords? And we've got the Ten of Cups. Mm. And the Six of Cups. Wow. The Six of Cups is a soulmate connection, but it's also being emotionally balanced. We've got the Eight of Cups, the Four of Cups, and then the Six of Cups. Now, for those of you that, because there is a possibility that you've started a new journey, a new cycle in your life, possibly some of you are going through divorce proceedings. We see it with the Eight of Cups. I mean, you could be leaving challenges and conflict, a chapter in your life that's come to an end. Ten of Cups can speak to, it shows family. So, Five of Swords could speak to, uh, of course, other people involved here. Some of you could be coming to an awareness that this does not, I mean, this does not, this cannot go on any longer. That's why we've got the Queen of Swords here on top of the tower. So you've got, a, you're having some sort of a an aha moment. It could be during some sort of a conversation that this cannot go on any longer. Three of Pentacles as well can speak to that as well. So uh, I don't know if some of you are needing uh, financial help possibly from others. 
if you're moving homes, right? And some of you have got some sort of a dilemma at the end, at the uh, towards the end of the month. A dilemma. Now, the dilemma can be if you're choosing between two people. Um, how to surpass these blockages. As I said, you've got strong intuition. You've got the ability um, intuitively to find the way. You've got the ability to emanate your light. And then, you know, the darkness, there is no darkness. Um, if you've got that, if you understand that you can utilize that. For those of you that don't think that you are capable of that, then it's just saying that bring love into the situation. Through love, through love you can get past this this uh, challenge here, this dilemma, whatever this is. And uh, those of you that are have got a dilemma whether to move towards divorce, a divorce settlement, uh, choose between he or she that you desire where love is concerned. Then, as I said, you're stepping out of your comfort zone, you're following your north node. Six of Cups is a soulmate connection, could be someone that you've known forever from the past or someone that you feel you know or is familiar to you they seem like someone you've known forever and in the month of September some of you could be also taking a trip a boat trip or if you are if your soulmate is at a physical distance to you because it does say stepping out of your comfort zone, you're following your north node and you're transitioning away from um, conflict. Remember that the north node is something we need to follow, but it's not like we close the door fully on the on the south node. We need to find that fine ba that that balance, that correct balance. You are the magician, nevertheless. You've got the ability to do anything you put your mind to. Remember that the justice justice is a portal that opens. I'm going to take one card on justice and then we will extend this reading in the month for the month of September and we'll look into love. And we've got the moon. So it looks like for me the moon here says that um, you will get to see the light. I mean you could see the eye here. What's been hidden will be shown to you. And we've got a new moon. We've got a new moon in Libra on the 25th. So whatever's been hidden, whatever you've been fearing, you will see that all, be, all will be well. And why do I get that, that all will be well? Because the magician and the mirror and temperance, which is Jupiter. Jupiter does speak to abundance. Right, it does speak to having the law on your side, if I can use that term. Having the laws of um, the laws of nature, the laws of life, the law of integrity. It's all on your side. And you've got the you've got the ability to make the magic yourself. You've got the magician twice. So chariot and the moon twice the chariot I suppose is not the moon but the chariot is also cancer as is the moon cancer Pisces the moon does speak to a new home it does speak to those subconscious fears that you could be and those that self-doubt that you could be cutting out it's a time for you To feel safe, secure and happy in your environment or in your home, wherever you reside, dear Aries. Okay, so I will leave it there. I want to thank you so much for liking, sharing, subscribing and commenting. I'm wishing you well in the month of September, dear Aries. Those of you that are following me on to the extended, I will see you there. 
Love and light, many blessings, ta-da.